What is going on everybody, it's Nothing But Skills here, and in today's video we are going to be showing you how to get the exotic Desert Eagle, the Liberty. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been working really hard to fill up your wall. You want your wall to be complete, you want to have every exotic in the game prior to the expansion coming out for Warlords of New York. So, don't forget, this whole week we will be dropping updated guides for every single exotic in the game on this channel. Not my main channel, on this channel. So hopefully you guys got your popcorn ready. Hopefully you guys are ready to learn something. And hopefully I can get you guys all of these exotics in the Division 2. Now, some people have said that they've been getting lucky and they've been getting the exotics from just target farming. So if you just want to target farm the pistol area, you may be lucky enough to get this. But that's not a guaranteed way to get it as this is a quest item. And to my knowledge, you were supposed to have to do all these quests first. So all the exotics that have quests behind them, you're supposed to have to do them first and then they will go into the loot pool. So what we're gonna do is show you how to get it from the quest in this video. So the first piece that you get to start this whole quest for the Liberty, you get it from Capitol Building, but not when it's an invaded mission. So what you need to do is if you haven't completed these, you complete them and then there's a way you can toggle from invaded to non-invaded and then that's what you want you want it to be regular and then that way you can get the first piece but you guys probably already have it it's the trigger and you can go to your resources tab on your character and you should be able to see it in there the next piece is going to be at the american history museum and you're going to want to do this on hard so make sure you guys follow this step by step so head over to american history museum toggle it to hard and make sure it's non-invaded and then Captain Briggs is going to drop the next piece. Now you can also do this on challenging if you want, but hard is just a lot easier to do, especially if you're doing it solo. So once you get to this point, you're going to see the boss right there and the boss will drop the pistol receiver and paint job. So that is the second piece you guys need and you guys get it from this mission. So it has to be on hard or challenging. Now just finish off all the NPCs. Once you finish off all the enemies, You'll get the mission complete, then you can go to your resources tab, and then you'll see I have now two components for the pistol. I have the trigger, and then I have the receiver and paint job. So I have the two pieces, now let's go get our third piece. The next piece is going to be at the Viewpoint Museum. Same thing, you need to either do it on hard or challenging. So toggle it from hard to challenging, and it has to be a non-invaded mission. So make sure you toggle that too if it's an invaded mission when you're trying to do this. Now once you get to the end of the mission, you'll see the boss, Staff Sergeant Carl Wade. And once you kill him, he will drop the piece you need. So the piece that you should see is the Sight and Rail, and that is going to be the third pistol piece we need. Now there's only one more pistol piece plus the blueprint, but that both drops in the same location. If we check our resources tab, we go all the way down, we're going to see three pieces now, right? So we have the receiver and paint job, we have the sight and rail, and then we have the trigger. The final piece plus the blueprint is gonna come from Space Administration HQ. Now do this on hard and challenging. Once you get to the end of the mission, you're gonna see the boss right there, Junior, and that is who you need to kill. Once you kill him, it will drop the final piece plus the blueprint. I recommend clearing out the area first and then picking up both. So once the area is clear, then you'll see you get the pistol grip and tags, plus you get the Liberty blueprint. The final pieces you need, plus the blueprint, now we can head to the base of operation. Now before you head to the crafting station, make sure you go to your stash or check your inventory and make sure you have a DE. You will need a Desert Eagle, a D50 to do this. So if you don't have one, then you need to grind. I happen to have a couple of them because I've been saving them up, but they randomly drop. There's no specific way to get them, but just keep farming and sooner or later you will get one. Now once you head to the crafting table, you should be able to go to your blueprints and on the weapons blueprints where you have your exotics, you'll see the Liberty Blueprint. Now it's going to require the receiver, the sight, the grip, the trigger, some crafting material, and then of course the D50. And that is how you get the Liberty Max Gear Score 500 in the Division 2. I hope this helped you guys out. If you guys still have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so when I release another video, you guys get notified. Until the next one, guys, nothing but skills out. <laughs>